Hello everyone, Gator Deesky here, and I'm going to show you how to apply our texture pack for Abyss and how to get extra arts. So to do this, you're going to need our texture pack right here, which I have already unzipped, and these pnatch files here, which there are two versions of them. One just has a texture fix and the other one has a texture fix along with the extra arts. I have that one with the extra arts. If you want them, you want to make sure you get that one. All right, and you also need PCSX2, and here's what the folder looks like. So to start off, you're going to go to Textures in PCSX2, and you're going to put our Texture Pack folder unzipped right in there, which I already have there. You can go to Cheats under PCSX2, and you're going to put your two PNATCH files right in there. Same thing applies if you don't want the extra arts. Once you've done that, you're going to close out all that and open up PCSX2. Mine's going to look a little different from yours probably. I have a bunch of covers applied to every game. But you're going to want to go to Tales of the Abyss and you want to go into Properties. Once here, go into Cheats. Make sure those are enabled. Go to Graphics. Then go to Rendering. You're going to want to make sure that your internal resolution is set to something higher than native, ideally like three times. Under hardware fixes, make sure that auto flush is enabled. And under upscaling fixes, make sure that half pixel offset is set to align to native. Then under texture replacement, make sure that load textures and async texture loading are both enabled. Your render might be different from mine but uh, Vulcan should work for most of them. Now let's start the game. Namco. Skip the intro. And you'll know if it worked if you see HD remaster just like that. So now the video ends here if you're okay with all that, but we do also have the ability to change the buttons in the game from PS2 to Switch or Xbox buttons. And I'm going to just show that real quick. So for that, you want to go to PCSX2, the texture folder we were in earlier. Go into that, and you want to go to optional. Under optional you'll have all of these oh, don't grab that, all these here whichever one you want you're just gonna extract that file I have the Nintendo Switch one here just go into that file once it's extracted and copy everything in it then you're gonna go back go to replacements go to UI and then go to button icons for here delete everything in here and just replace it with the buttons that you copied. Now with that, you should be ready to play Abyss just the way you want. Have fun!